take a look at this very useful and unique fake numbers counter. Now this one is different because we'll be using it to count down the amount of products available, not time. I have our single product template open over here and again we have our countdown widget added in over here. Now under content, countdown date and countdown setup, I'm going to choose the fake numbers counter. Let's head on over under extra option. Under track user data, like mentioned previously, this applies cookies to the user so the countdown does not reset. In this case, it makes sure that the stock isn't just randomly changing back up if the user refreshes the page. So make sure you set this to yes, but while working with the widget, we're going to have it set to no, so we don't have any cookies interrupting our process. We're going to avoid the loop, so let's head on over to initial number. So this is the number of products available shown to users, initially at the start. So let's say we have 20 t-shirts and at the end we want to show 4. So I'm going to set my final number to 4. Now the number range is basically the range in which the numbers can decrease. So if I set this to 1, it'll only go down in intervals of 1, which is not very realistic. If I set it to 2, it's going to go down by either 1 or 2. If I set it to 5, for example, it will go down by either 1, 2, 3, 4 or 5. It randomly decreases the number within the range you set and this makes it much more realistic. And now we have our change interval in seconds. So let's make it one for the purpose of the video. In an actual store, you'll want to set this to more than a second, perhaps to a minute, to show that every one minute the stock has decreased. And now you can see the effect. Every one second, the stock is decreasing in intervals from one to five. And over here under fake message, you can set in your message anything you want. Just make sure that the visible counter stays as is and is included. Otherwise, it's not going to work. So you can see if I delete the B, for example, it no longer works. So just make sure this is included. I want to show you another great feature. If we go into our countdown widget, and go under advanced, we have something called plus extras display condition over here. We can set our display rules to really control which countdown is shown to which product category. This enables you to create a single product template for all of your categories, but you can still have the countdown widget show to only certain categories or you can have different countdown widgets for different categories. It's just a very convenient feature. So if I want to show this scarcity stock countdown only with shirts, not shoes, I can create a rule to include only shirts by adding in a rule Wu current product category is shirt. So if I go to my shop page and open a shoe, you can see there's no countdown widget over here. But if I want to also add it to the Nike shoes, I'll just go ahead and add in another rule. So I'm going to press add item. I'm going to set the rule to Wu current product category is Nike shoe. And the last thing I have to do is just make sure that I set the display when is set to any one rule is true. Because otherwise it's going to want to display it only when all of the rules are true. Which isn't going to work because one category is a shirt and one category is a shoe. So I'm just going to set this to any one rule is true. Update this. And now if I go back to my product page and I open a shoe. I can see the countdown widget over here, but it says shirts. So what do I do in this case? Well, one option is I could change the text to make it more universal. Another option is I could just duplicate the widget and in the first one, just go under advanced plus extras display condition and delete the rule about the shoes. And in the second one, I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to delete the rule about the shirts. And once I do that, I'm just going to change the text under content, extra option, change the shirts to shoes. And let's see what happens. If I go into my product and I open a shoe, I get the proper countdown widget, only amount of shoes left. And if I go into my shirts, again, I'm going to have the proper countdown widget. And you can also use these display conditions to exclude categories. But it doesn't just work for categories. It also works for the current product stock, the amount of products in the cart, and a whole lot of other cool options. So you can really personalize this and control when and where it shows up.